Hi there. This video will be about making this a new metal part like this that's missing here. I make I will make this uh, of steel and I will also try to make a new rubber part like this, a cone. And uh, also I will make a new rubber part that is not convex but concave. And the rubber I'm using is this rubber block. And I, as you can see, I have sold out a piece of rubber from that. This, and this one is supposed to be like this, the convex one, and then I'll make a concave one. Okay, well, let's get started. We are back at the lathe, and I have put a piece of round bar in the chuck, and I will try to make this piece. Let's go. Okay, after all this hard work, machining work with this piece, I had to take a break and have a cup of coffee to get some energy back. And now I'm back. So, what's next to do? Well, if you look at this, uh, let's see, there's some slitzes here and here. This had to be done, and uh, one little more one there. So I make those slitzers, and then I will cut off this piece, and then we will move on to the next part. Okay, 
uh, and I will hold this piece in this colored chuck I made before to make it a little bit easier maybe. Okay, here we have the new part. And the uh, next thing to do is to make this, make a new rubber cone like this that goes in here, like so. this rubber piece. It's pretty strange I think to mill rubber instead of steel and aluminium and brass. Well this was not easy. The rubber is pretty soft. It's very hard to machine it. I must think of another method how I can fix this. Well, after a couple of whiskeys, no, I'm just kidding, I was having a cup of coffee. Anyway, I put some uh, copper sheet here to make it more stable and even put the tailstock on here. And it's quite stable actually. And uh, then I uh, grind, grinded the uh, high speed steel so it's very sharp and I think it's going to work actually anyway I'm going to try this Well, so far this seems to work. We'll see how it's going when the diameter gets smaller. I don't think I can use this method. I think I must think of something else. 
Well, as you may have heard, there is always a better method. Find it, use it. And that's what I'm trying to do now. We see how it goes. Seems to work pretty well, I think. Looking good. Looking okay, I think. Okay, cutting off. And here is the rubber piece. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I was thinking of making a holder for this rubber bit to hold it in this, in the shock, and then grind, grind off here so that, so that I get the cone. I will try that. Something like this. Put this rubber in here, and then I cut the slits here, and then I cut it off. We'll try. No, I changed my mind. I cut it off now, and then do the slits. <laughs> Okay, time to do the, to use the slitting saw. Okay, I use the cutting saw, as you can see, and I think of putting this in here, like so, and uh, Then we 
Für diese beiden Drehs. Yeah. I think it's going to work. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think this will work. Like so. Okay. I will use a drop of super glue. Super Lima. And uh, this super glue, you can glue wood, leather, rubber, metal, plastic. I think it will work fine. I think that is enough. Like, like so. And it looks like this when mounted on the tachometer. RPM meter, I prefer to say. And um, Can you can see the difference between these two? Okay.